Hello, I'm Louise Dearman and I'm at Magic at the Musicals and this is Show Circle. Performing in any theatre is wonderful, but performing at the Royal Albert Hall honestly was a dream of mine years ago. And I remember saying to my then manager, please help me to get to the Royal Albert Hall. And then once it happened, I've been fortunate enough to play here almost every year since then. And it never gets boring. It's the most incredible venue. The atmosphere is electric. Um, and I just, I just get totally excited every time I come back. Greece. Is Greece out anymore? I don't even know. It's on tour. Brilliant. So it's already being revived. Um, yes. Good answers. Over and out. I do the same vocal warm up I've done for about 10 years. Um, I went to a wonderful vocal coach when I played Elphaba and Linda actually, it's 10 years. And um, I've done the same one ever since and it just works. I just think if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Not that long, everyone thinks it's hours, but it's probably about 20, 25 minutes. Because yeah, because the only, the only thing that I had to do was my hands. And then someone comes in and does the rest. And then you obviously have your green bodysuit, so you just do your hands and then step on your green bodysuit. So not that long, and not that long to get it off either. I've danced since I was three, and it was just a hobby when I was three, but it just slowly progressed as I started to go and watch musicals in London. Um, and I was 12 years old when I was in the choir of Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat at the London Palladium. Philip Schofield playing Joseph, and it was my first taste of what this could be like to do this as a profession and get paid to do something you absolutely love. And that was the moment I think I said to my parents, I really want to do this. And so from the age of 12 really was when I kind of really hit it hard and thought, okay, how do we make this happen? The reaction from a live audience, just feeling how much people have missed watching live performance just as much as we've missed being up on stage. It's just, there's just nothing like it. There really isn't, you know, all the uh, Zoom concerts in the world are wonderful, but they don't compare to having a live audience right there in front of you, especially somewhere like the Royal Albert Hall.